Hi everyone, it's Tara from Acorn Artworks. Today I wanted to give you a studio tour. Um, I haven't been filming for a couple of years because we have been building a home. Um, so now all done the home and in the studio, which is great. So I hope to have lots of upcoming videos. Um, I did get a bit of art done over that time. I uh, didn't film it, but I did recently upload a progressive slideshow of those paintings and drawings coming together. So if you'd like to see that, there's a link here. Um, upcoming things, uh, I am going to make two fur tutorials of acrylic painting, uh, long fur and short fur. So if you'd like to check those out, they should be out in the next couple of weeks. Um, okay, let's go see the studio. Uh, let's roll the intro. I seem to make a lot of intros, probably more than videos. Okay, here we are, Oakwood Studio. Uh, acorns come from oak trees, so hence the name. Um, yeah, my studio isn't large. Uh, yeah, I tried to use the space the best I could. I'll tell you all about all the things in here. We'll go round and round in circles, because it's pretty hard to film something so small, to be honest. So I have a section that I put printouts of all my favorite art that I've done. I don't know if anyone else does this, but every studio I've had, I've had my art on the wall. Um, I guess it inspires me and yeah, sort of gives me a reason to continue to do art. Say inspired, I guess. So yeah, we've got a little door there that heads into a flat that's not actually attached to the house. So this whole side is my painting area. I've got a canvas wall and I'll show you more about that in a minute. I've got a section here that I do signs. I used to be a sign writer, so I've got a vinyl cutter and stuff there. Uh, this is my area for colored pencil, drawing board and a daylight lamp. <laughs> works in progress on the wall. Uh, this is just an example of using the canvas wall for many canvases at once. The portrait I just finished. Uh, this is just where I store my acrylic paint so it's close by. Painting mediums, brushes. Uh, I've got a trolley that I take my supplies over to the canvas wall, keep everything handy, the water and uh, palettes and stuff. Lots of lamps in my studio, uh, just for ambience, no matter what time of day I've got my lamps on. That's all my storage for my signs. Lots of overhead storage there, uh, just for small art supplies. I honestly don't have a lot of art supplies, I know what I like to use. I do have three young girls and um, they come up here, they've got their own little drawing boards and stuff stored under that bench and they like to come up and do art. I've got sign substrate uh, stored in the corner there because I'm still making signs occasionally. Got my little cork board here just with my uh, invoices and that sort of thing, order forms. I've got a cupboard full of arts and crafts. <laughs> Everything you can think of, really. So, yep, that's usually where the kids come to get what they need.
So I think I'm gonna do a really bad demo here with one hand and show you how you can move these canvases around. This is not my idea, by the way. It is, uh, I copied another YouTube artist who made a wall like this and I uh, thought it was a brilliant idea. So I thought I'd try it in my own studio. I have no idea what I'm doing with that painting. It's a work in progress. Ooh, yeah, spinning around and around. <laughs> drawers with a fluffy blanket, just some paper. I've got bigger paper stored upright and cardboard beside that. Canvases, an airbrush up on the shelf, uh, polychromos pencils, ink tense pencils. Don't look too close because my shelves are moldy. I've realized since making this video. Oh well, uh, just some other smaller supplies. Um, the benches I made to suit the space and to suit the crates that I had on hand. So, yep. Oh, oh yeah, coloured pencil area. I've got, yeah, the daylight lamp. And uh, work straight from the computer. Reference photos from there. Oh, just the little vinyl cutter I've got. Um, silhouette uh, Cameo. Fantastic little machine. Ah yes, there is a studio with it. Um, this is my dog. She absolutely hates the art studio. Will not even go in there. She prefers the fire inside. Yeah, teeth. And yes, I wanted to explain the three-year distraction. Um, we built our own home uh, over the last probably five years. Um, well, we, the building process was probably a year and a half in total. Um, we did it while working full time, my husband and I. So uh, we pretty much spent our weekends um, after work working on the house. And that's all done. So I hope you enjoyed the studio today. I wanted to show you guys my new studio. Oh. <laughs> Today I want to give you as. Oh my god, quit using the stupid voice! Makes no sense. Oh my god, just getting up today. I haven't been. Jeez, uh... I was still. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>